We've reached instruction number 10 in part 2 of the workbook of A Course in Miracles. Instruction number 10 is what is the last judgment. There are 14 instructions in part 2 of the workbook. They come every 10 lessons. So this instruction, what is the last judgment, will be practiced along with lessons 311 through 320. Here we go. What is the Last Judgment? Christ's second coming gives the Son of God this gift to hear the voice for God proclaim that what is false is false and what is true has never changed. And this the judgment is in which perception ends. At first you see a world that has accepted this as true projected from a now corrected mind. And with this holy sight, perception gives a silent blessing and then disappears, its goal accomplished and its mission done. The final judgment on the world contains no condemnation, for it sees the world as totally forgiven without sin and wholly purposeless, <laughs> without a cause and now without a function in Christ's sight, it merely slips away to nothingness. There it was born and there it ends as well. And all the figures in the dream in which the world began go with it. Bodies now are useless and will therefore fade away because the Son of God is limitless. You who believed that God's last judgment would condemn the world to hell along with you, accept this holy truth. God's judgment is the gift of the correction He bestowed on all your errors, freeing you from them and all the effects they ever seemed to have. To fear God's saving grace is but to fear complete release from suffering, return to peace, security, and happiness, and union with your own identity. God's final judgment is as merciful as every step in his appointed plan to bless his son and call him to return to the eternal peace he shares with him. Be not afraid of love, for it alone can heal all sorrow, wipe away all tears, and gently waken from his dream of pain the Son whom God acknowledges as his Be not afraid of this. Salvation asks you give it welcome, and the world awaits your glad acceptance, which will set it free. This is God's final judgment. You are still my holy son, forever innocent, forever loving, and forever loved, as limitless as your creator, and completely changeless, and forever pure. Therefore, awaken and return to me. I am your father, and you are my son. That's instruction number 10, what is the last judgment, to be practiced along with lessons 311 through 320. So good. <laughs> if you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook, go to amytorresason.com and read Amy's blog, Namaste.